Hey, what's up guys? It's Corey here with Dapper Dollars. And today we're gonna to talk about how Palantir is becoming as invaluable as a computer was in the 1980s. You ready? Let's get started. So, this channel is all about using the online income opportunities we have with Merch by Amazon and Etsy to build our income online and then invest this income in things like the stock market and real estate. If that sounds like something you're interested in, like and subscribe and let's get started. So. What is Palantir and exactly how are they becoming as invaluable to a company as a computer was in the 1980s? Well, Palantir is a data management and simulation company that takes in information from the military and the high level businesses around the world to use this information to run simulations based on the data they have to see what advantages could be done what strategies could be exploited, and specifically in the military, what operations can be executed in the most efficient way possible. Now, efficiently, efficiency runs through all three of those. And this technology has also been credited with the uh, you know, coronavirus, the you know, execution of a proper defense, and the uh, vaccination of people across the world to get the vaccine out to as many people in the most efficient way possible and to make sure that people are you know, being healthy and safe. What Palantir has done and their use of data management and the ability to run simulations based on that data has been invaluable to people in very high levels and in high levels of business as well. So what Palantir is doing here is creating a situation where they are extremely invaluable to the higher ups in the world and what will likely be the local businesses in the future. So first of all, what was a computer in the 1980s and exactly how did it affect the world of business in the 1980s? Well, I wasn't alive in the 1980s, but I've heard stories. I have uh, people in my family who were starting businesses in the 1980s and they say when they got a computer, it was one of those things where it changed the game. They were able to store data on this computer instead of having it on paper they were able to have a heads and shoulders advantage above their competition, and they were able to be on a different level as far as competing with each other. And it basically rose the game of what they were able to offer for their customers compared to other people who weren't using this uh, new technology. And it gave them the ability to actually acquire data and use it and put it in a format that was going to be useful for them in the future. Because even though there weren't programs like Excel and uh, Microsoft Word back then, there were ways to analyze data on a computer to use this information to make effective business decisions. And while a computer in the 80s was definitely nothing like it is in the 90s or even now, this information and ability to acquire this information and have it all in one place was extremely invaluable for a business in the 1980s because this is this was a major technological leap forward for businesses you think the stock market industry was definitely some of the first people to have computers in the 80s the military obviously had computer technology way before anyone else and other industries that were leading sectors had access to this technology that, was able, that were able to catapult the U.S. into a, a continuing leader of the world economy, the military, and all other aspects of life as far as you know, being a leader country. And this is where Palantir leaves us. They are providing the productive use of data because data, if you haven't noticed, has become the gold, gold mine of you know, our current century. The gold rush of uh, you know, back whenever people discovered gold in California is essentially what's happening now because people are realizing that the data that we can acquire is massive as far as what it's able to be used for and how it is able to be mined because right now most people are mining data just based on how to sell to people if you look on facebook a lot of what facebook does is use people's current habits on the internet to be able to provide ads for those people and then it's based on all the information and data that is collected on someone who goes to Facebook and then goes somewhere else. Now, expand this to the entire internet and your daily life. What you purchase, where you go, what your cell phone says about you, what you're you know, looking at online itself, and you know what can be recorded from your iPhone. Because <laughs> believe it or not, your iPhone can record your voice. And if you haven't noticed that it does, some, it does do that whenever you don't have it on, you open up Facebook and then you see that the ads are being served. You haven't searched before, but they were in conversation. All of this data is out there and available. 
and it paints a story of each of us individually and it gives all of the people who have access to this data the ability to make decisions that will affect us and our lives in a very big way. And Palantir is the only company that is effectively using this not just to benefit themselves like Facebook is, but to benefit the government and to benefit the higher companies in the National Health Service to distribute stuff like the vaccine for COVID-19 and things like that. Because this is what the useful and productive um, use of data looks like. Because Palantir is able to, like I said before, use military information as far as infantry numbers, everything about those troops. Because it is not just the troops that you're looking at. It is not just the terrain that you're looking at. Palantir is able to take everything about every single troop, their past history, what their online history is, their weight, you know, the air pressure, what they've been eating, everything about this soldier. Each individual soldier is taken into Palantir and every operation is analyzed down to a granular level to determine whether or not the U.S. needs to engage in a specific way in a military operation or in special forces because if you've noticed recently, Palantir got a $111 million re-up for their use by these special services or special operations within the U.S. military. So if the U.S. military has been using Palantir for the last 10 years and again has decided to re-up their contract for $111 million, I think Palantir is on to something pretty incredible and their use and useful use of data in this way is going to lead to many advantages in the future. And if you've watched any of my videos in the past, and I'll link to that here, Palantir is in a situation similar to Tesla, where Palantir is able to break all of this information, or break all of these, you know, really extraneous tools down to a very granular level that can be used by a local business. Because right now, Palantir is being used by the National Health Organization, or National Health Service in the U.S., and the military through their uh, Gotham platform. And what they're able to do is to break all of that down. So it might not have all of the bells and whistles. It might not be able to analyze as much data as it does for Gotham. It can be broken down into something much smaller and much more simple through something like Foundry that is able to work with you know, large companies and then be broken down even more to work with just local businesses because local businesses aren't going to have to have that much data to analyze. So as you can see, Palantir is offering a massive amount of value and is going to be increasing the productivity of most businesses across the world because the use of data is, like I said, the new gold mine. The use of data and having being able to run simulations as far as if a business were to run a sale, what would it look like? If a business has the information to share from other, other places of business across the world, what are those demographics like and how can they you know, maybe move to a different operation somewhere else? The analyzation of data that is available to us now and the useful use of this data is going to be the game-changing issue here because data, like I said, is all businesses run on right now. And it is going to be the use of this data and how productively you can use it is going to be the next version and iteration of business in the future. And Palantir is the only company that is Number one, consciously using this, and number two, they're using it in a way that preserves the rights of people around them. And this is where the cybersecurity comes in because like we have noticed recently, cybersecurity is one of the greatest issues now facing the US. And with Palantir, they have a product called InfoSec. And with this product, Palantir has been able to combat things like child trafficking, They've been able to analyze or protect and analyze the glo or global financial systems. They've been able to do many things as far as protecting the information of companies and obviously the U.S. military in the past and going into the future. So with the rise of cybersecurity coming, a product like InfoSec within Palantir is going to be an invaluable piece of you know information and equipment for larger companies in the future. This is essentially going to be a requirement because we're not dealing with Norton antivirus packages anymore. We're dealing with people who are, you know, 200 people or so in a warehouse across the world working together to infiltrate some of the largest meat producers in the US 
and oil producers in the U.S. to shut them down until they collect a ransom and then allow it to run again. And this cannot continue to happen. And so there is going to need to be a solution to this problem. Otherwise, the U.S. is going to be subservient to hackers across the world. And with Palantir, they have the ability above any other company to take on this challenge. And I believe that they will have the ability to overcome this challenge and then offer this as a service to other companies in the future, both large and small, as they scale down from large to small business. So anyway, that is my opinion on why I think Palantir is going to be a major player in the future, and they are only going to get better from here because they are making themselves invaluable as far as being able to collect, analyze, and simulate data from a large perspective as far as the military, even what probably is going to happen with the local businesses. Again, I don't know that this is going to happen as far as Palantir scaling down what they're able to do to local businesses. However, what they did do was scale down what they're able to do with the military and the National Health Service and make Foundry. And Foundry is, you know, a scaled down version of Gotham. And what it does is works with larger companies to analyze smaller amounts of data to then do the same thing. So it makes sense that they can continue to parse that down until it gets to a local business use level. And again, I don't know if this is actually going to happen, but it makes sense that it would in the future and it would be beneficial for Palantir to do this because it would open up the door to make them basically an Apple stock. Because what Apple did, they started with you know the iPod, they went almost in the reverse. They were in iPods, they were you know just a few iPod shuffles here and there. Everybody had a little Apple something. But then they scaled up to making iPhones, to iPads, to iMacs. And then eventually most businesses have some version of Apple software within their life. And then most consumers have a Apple product here and there. So Apple is in every aspect of everyone's life. The same way that data is in everyone's, the aspect of everyone's life, Palantir will likely fill those voids as well as far as protecting, managing, and being able to simulate data for businesses in the future. So. I believe that Palantir is likely going to have a multi-trillion dollar market cap within about 15 years. And so I'm holding this one for the long term. And anyway, that's my opinion on it. If you guys have any questions or comments, now I'm not the most well versed on Palantir. I don't know if anybody is because Palantir is constantly changing and what they're doing is so innovational that it's hard to keep up with them. But if you have any comments, drop them below. And remember, I am not a financial advisor. I'm just going on YouTube. This is a purely entertainment channel. So if you have any you know, needs to make a financial decision in your life, consult your financial advisor. Do not go off of anything that I say in the past or in the future. So I hope you guys are having a great day. Remember, someone is going to do something amazing every day, guys. Why not you? See ya.